And here I am in the docks, and as you can see, there's an awful lot going on. This ship has just come in from Germany, carrying all sorts of imported goods from Germany. And this motor, which has come in from Denmark, and it's going to be used to dry out pilchards in St. Helena Bay. Now this ship, the Padre, has sailed in from Australia with a Filipino crew and it's carrying barley for South African beer. It's phenomenal really, isn't it? I wonder where on earth that one's coming from. Every second of every day, all around the world, trade, international trade, is going on. I'm involved, you're involved, our families and friends. International trade takes on a momentum of its own. This airport is a transit point, not just for people, but for goods too. The sale of our goods that are going overseas, and goods from overseas that are to be sold here. In economic terms, we call this imports and exports. And for many companies, this is the ultimate business frontier, satisfying not just local demand, but global demand too, becoming players in markets all over the world. And just how much we as a country should be importing and exporting is a subject of frequent and often heated debate between economists, the government, business and labour. So what is international trade. Well, it's the importing of goods and services and the exporting of goods and services. So, what does South Africa import? Clothes. We import um, food, oil, furniture. Those are imported goods, physical things. But what about imported services? Engineers. I know we import banking expertise from England. Medical specialists. We export fruits and vegetables, wine, gold. Yes, and our list of imports gets longer by the day. And this, this is one of our most important exports, tourism. And we don't even have to ship it. Foreign importers come all the way here to collect. It may seem obvious, but why exactly do countries trade with each other? 